Okay, so in this video we're going to look into adding a few mods to your Daisy server. If you've recently started one with Ping Perfect, uh, I'm going to go through now how to add a few mods. If that's something you're interested in, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so firstly we have to go into the Steam Workshop. What we're actually going to download first is a Zombri admin tool, and this allows you to use the admin tools inside the game, like spawn things in, etc. And um, you can spam around the map and pretty much see where everybody is, etc. It's, it's, it's a good admin tool if that's if you're an admin of a server. So like yesterday, if, if you saw yesterday's video, if you didn't, I'll drop a, a card above. It is just download it. We need to make sure it's downloaded again on the system. And like I said, we need to make note of that number, but we can come back to that number again. And then once the mod's downloaded, the, the initial steps are exactly the same as what we did for the previous video, if you saw that. Is take, is take the number and add it to the command line. Now, the only slight difference with this is adding this one to the command line is at, at the list of mods that you've got on your server, this needs to come after the CF mod. So what we do is we just insert it directly after the CF number, which was the first number we put in. So we add the mod. Again, we make sure we add the semicolon. And then once that's completed and you're sure you've got the semicolon in there, just hit the apply button like we did yesterday. And like I said, up to this point, it's exactly the same as the normal mods. This is the part where it slightly differs to the last mod we did, okay? What we've got to do now, it's not as simple as just doing it on the Daisy launcher. We have to open profiles, then click on Zombie. There'll be a new file that's added to Zombie. If not, just restart your server and it'll appear. Now in here, what we actually do, we have to add a file. What we're going to do then, we're going to name that file admins.cfg. Okay, now once that's done, and you, that you can open that, that's all you need to put in there then, is your Steam ID. So wherever your individual Steam ID is, you just need to place it in this empty box here and press save. We're then going to restart our launcher, sorry, we're then going to restart the server again. And then we're also going to copy the number and drop it into the Daisy launcher like we did on the last video, just to make sure that obviously that the mod then is enabled in the Daisy launcher and that, that it will run. So we're just going to copy this number again. And we're going to paste it in here. And it should show then, once we've repasted this in a second time, it should show then that that mod is sitting under the CF, as you can see at the bottom. And once we check in game, if we press O, all the zombie admin tools are there, so we can heal ourselves because our food is low. And as you can see, all that's working fine. So it's quite a simple mod to install. I just thought I'd drop her on it for obviously show you if you haven't done it before, just to make sure what to do with the profile. With that work, and now we're going to now look at Mungards. Now Mungards is a different mod to update again, sorry, to install again. Again, you've just got it to install and obviously install it to the server. This one is actually going to involve us changing the types files. So we'll get this downloaded and then we'll get into the types files and I'll show you how to change the type files and then obviously how to upload them back to the server to make sure everything spawns in as it should. So open up your uh, server, open up your files, your MP missions and obviously the map which we're in Cherno. Once you've got that open, it's DB, open up DB. And we're going to be looking for types files. So we want to download the original type files that we got first, because obviously they're the ones that we're going to modify. And we're also going to rename the types files, types files xml.old. Now you can rename them anything you want, but as long as you've got a backup copy, that's fine. It's always good practice to keep an original copy. So just quickly rename that, and then we'll get into modifying them. So the place to find the correct files, okay, there's two places you can find them. You can either, either do it this way and go into the mod itself and then click on types. And as you can see, you've got types files. So these are all the types files. So don't worry too much about looking all through it. That's all you're really going to need to do is copy the whole thing and paste it in your existing one. The second place to find the actual types files, uh, you can go check the mod itself. So if you click on the mod and you can just go to the install version because it's already there, be easy to find. Click on the mod, and in here will be the existing files as well. For this, I use per Notepad++. I, I recommend some sort of software. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've copied all the all the files that we need. We're going to scroll right to the bottom, and below the just below the last one that says types, we're just going to enter down to bring that down one, and then we, in that line there, in the empty line now, we're going to paste in our whole Mungards. So that's all of Mungards in. Okay. Now to make sure this works, if you go right to the top, and you have to make sure to click your cursor right to the top as well, there's a simple way then of finding out obviously to make sure this is running and the file is running and there's nothing going to be interrupted. So if you click on plugins, uh, my apologies, yeah, so if you click on plugins, go down to XML and then click validate now. As soon as you click validate now, if this box comes up, 
that means it's fine. If there was any error, it would come up with an error. So if that box comes up, it means that file should run fine, and there shouldn't be any issues with that file. And just to do it again, it's just validate now, and that's done. Now what we need to do now is upload this file and make sure we upload it to our server. Again, this just means going back to our types files where we saved the old one. We're going to re-upload this one. Now I have got this named at the minute as types.26 because I've had different servers and I'm lazy and I haven't changed them. But that's something I wouldn't recommend. It's just I know where it is so it sort of works for me. So we're just going to drag this in and upload it to that. What I would say is if you do play around with the types files a lot and you do get these numbers, every time you download one, it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Just to make sure they work on the server, you can't have a number in there. So if you've uploaded, for argument's sake, now I've uploaded 26, you just need to rename it, delete the brackets and the number to make sure it says types.xml. Once you've done that, that will then work fine. So again, we're going to come out to that. We're going to reset the server now with the new types files. Again, as 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 habit, I always copy the number and do the daisy launcher check again. But I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if you've got to do it every time. I just do it as force of habit and I've not had a problem doing it this way. So we're going to copy the number again, make sure we copy it full. Go back through and obviously double check it's there. So I, I, obviously it's going to be there. I have full confidence in it being there. But then once that's there, that should then run fine. Now, once you've inputted something in the game... The only way really of knowing if it's worked is there's two reasons, there's two things that I found out from my experience that if a mod is running right, especially with the type files. Number one, if the type files aren't right, you tend not to get zombies. They won't spawn in. So the first thing I do when I do a mod is jump in and run around see if I can find any zombies. After that, it is just a matter of finding the loot or the mod what you've typed in. So for argument's sake, if it's Mungards, you need to find a Mungards item. Even with zombie admin tools, it will still allow you to spawn them in by using the admin tools. But sometimes you can spawn things in that won't actually spawn in as loot. So you need to run around, do some loot in, and see if you can find some tools. See if you can find some tools, find some Mungard items, okay? And that's the same with anything. So if you're inputting code locks or some of the other bigger mods that people use, if there's anything that needs to be spawned in the game, the best bet is just to run around and see what you can find. So that's what we're going to do now. We have a quick run around. First of all, see if there's any zombies there, and we'll see what we can find. And I'm going to be honest, I had a run around, I must have been running around for about 5 or 10 minutes, I wasn't running around long, and I did come across a Mungard's item, one of the big yellow uh, gas items, so once I found that, I know Mungard's is working and the rest of the stuff is going to spawn in, so that's job done for as far as we're concerned. I want to take this opportunity now to thank you for watching, if there's anything I've missed or haven't done or something that you, any questions that you have, just drop me um, a comment in either the comments, Discord, Twitter, wherever. But definitely get involved. If there's something that you're interested in, I'm going to have more hints and tips and not just how to mod or how to add mods to the server or anything to do server related. I'm also going to have gaming tips as well, how to survive, the best things, base locations, etc. So you get the gist. Anything to do with Daisy at the moment, really. So guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I'll catch you later. Cheers.